Thank you, Audible, for uh, sponsoring the video. Sorry, thank you. Yeah, sex is cool, but have you ever heard someone else doing it? Because that's not, it's not cool at all. Especially when your livelihood depends on them stopping. Like now. Uh, but before I get ahead of myself, let's talk about the actual head at hand here. Did, did you just? Yes. Nice. And I feel dirty. Okay. So I'm chilling at home working on stuff for a deadline I have coming up. And while I'm working, my roommate hits me up and tells me and my other roommate that he's bringing a girl over. And this is pretty standard stuff over around these parts. Like at this point, we were like the Dave and Buster's Tinder. People would come through, uh, play games, both video and emotional, and then leave. And to me, it was always cool. You know, it's never been like a big deal or a nuisance. For some reason, there's a weird appeal to just having strangers in the house. But this time around, having strangers in the house wasn't as cool as it was before. I understand that it shouldn't be cool usually, but you know, whatever. Unfortunately, as an adult, I've learned if I want to continue to live, I have to do things for money to live. And tonight I was on a big time deadline crunch. Like, damn, I better get this stuff done on time or it's ice sandwiches for dinner next month, yo. But it's not like they were gonna get in my way because I have like a whole ass room to myself. So like, it's fine. That's how houses work. So homegirl arrives. I say hi as not to be completely antisocial, just a little bit. And they start chilling on the couch watching Death Note, which is not my first pick for a date, anime binge says, but I'm not the one with the date. Uh, so clearly they're doing something better than me. And anyway, I head, <laughs> head, and was I head to my room to get cracking on my stuff. Now, like I say, about an hour or so goes by and I start taking a break from working. I'm just casually talking to the patrons in my Discord server. Life skin hours, join if you want to see me work, which I promise is more fun than what it sounds. But I can't be chilling for long because I still got more to do. Now, as I get closer to ending my break, I get a little ping on Discord. It's a message from the roommate who's in the living room, currently watching Death Note with our guest. And it says in all caps, Can y'all stay in y'all's rooms? Oh, things are about to get a little hot and heavy. Yeah, the implications of this are pretty obvious. Dave and Busters is gonna turn into Dave and Nutsters real soon. That was gross. Thank you, Vivi. What? You made a head joke right at the- I did that, that, that. Mine had class. Eh. Anyways, but you know, like as I said, I'm chill with it. I wasn't planning on leaving my room anyways, especially not now. I mean, they probably were just gonna fool around a bit and then move it to the other room. I mean, it's the living room. We like, we like live in there. Plus there are rooms for doing other stuff. Again, that's how homes work. And besides, I can still hear Death Note playing on the TV. So it's probably cool, no problem. Big mistake. All right, so maybe 10-ish minutes go by and I'm trying to start focusing up because I need to get back to work. Else, you know, ice sandwiches and such. But then, all of a sudden, I hear. It sounded like someone was killing a cat or something out there. And unfortunately, someone was. Now, when it comes to living with roommates, hearing things is actually a given. All right. It, 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 it's normal. I've heard a lot of things in my time. I'm a hearing things veteran and moaning is no exception. It happens. But this, this, this was like someone doing it with the Windows XP starting screen. Like no courtesy. My name is literally that. Can y'all have some please? But it kind of all adds up when you realize they're doing it in the living room. One, we have to like commune in. Th that's where I lounge dog. And, and two, uh, bro, Death Note was still playing while they were going at it. Death Note? Who smashes to Death Note? Homie is watching Light like, kill people while he kills people. Like, bro. But despite all that, it doesn't explain why it's so loud. Like, I'm sure you're killing it, but why is it this loud? <sighs> and I soon find out. So I look at my door, naturally, when you hear sounds coming from, you know, where it's from. And my heart sinks never had i looked at a door and and freaked out so much see my door is open now not, not like like open i guess but cracked open but you know it's open enough that the sound is coming in loud and clear there's no buffer whatsoever and because it's so clear i can pinpoint exactly where it's coming from the girl he brought was definitely on our couch that was a given but i could tell that her face her mouth 
was right next to my door. It was already a bit much to have sex noises just blasting six feet away from you, but with the door open too. Like I swear, I can see her breath coming out from the living room. At least I'd have a wall of like six inches of wood to separate us usually, but ironically enough, that's what was causing the problem right now. So let me get this straight. You left the door open? Yeah, but like not on purpose. Well, I guess if you're horny, you're horny. I, I said not, not on purpose, not. Nah, don't give me that look. I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to work. Trying to work on stroking your- Ah, stop. Anyways. Uh, fun fact, it's pretty hard uh, to get some work done when someone is dry heaving six feet away from you. But what else am I supposed to do? Uh, leave? Close the door? I wish. I, I was kind of stuck in the box. So I just sit through it for like 20 minutes, just in shot. Honestly, it felt like 20 hours. Never have I wished for a man to bust so bad in my life that wasn't me on God. So I sat and waited for 20 Minutes. 20 minutes. That's a full episode of BoJack Horseman. I had to sit through a whole episode of Depressed Horse Show, but the only thing getting ridden is I'm, I'm done. All right. But thankfully, it eventually stopped. Okay, that has taught me something. Uh, not as cool with people having sex around me as I initially thought. Not that cool. Okay, noted. You don't have to lie. It wasn't a lie. Now, I thought that whole experience was over. But oh no. That was just the teaser. Apparently, there was a grand finale coming and I was not ready for it. So it's made like a couple hours later. I've got a decent amount of editing done and I got to do a big recording with some people. And my roommate and the girl were playing what sounded like like 51 Clubhouse games, this Nintendo game, 51 Clubhouse games. Pretty self-explanatory. So I assume that things were chill now. Homie got off. Now he can get on the switch. I, were you disappointed when they were done? I will literally lock you in a cage. I am dead ass. So before we record, I go to the bathroom. So I step out of my room and get stiff as a board. Mostly because someone else seemed to be. I walked out of the room and saw them on top of each other again. Yo, and they didn't pay me no mind. Like none. <laughs> like I could have been a breeze for all they care. I breeze right by to no slowing down, no hesitation, not. I keep walking and all I can think was like, again, are you this deprived? How are you this horny that you're making out to the 51 Clubhouse Games menu music? Which you cannot do anything to. I feel like that's literally impossible. Like run it, run this, like. Please explain. I walk into the bathroom and just kind of sit there and think. Like how in the actual hell am i gonna manage this like do do i say something if so what Th there was a million thoughts going through my head and after panicking for like three minutes or so i decide the smartest thing to do is well let them know very passively through a message on discord <laughs> sent on the toilet type of a message that says yo don't smash her i'm trying to record pretty straight and to the point so i get up and leave the bathroom still a little nervous and walk past them again still in that position and which now in retrospect i kind of realized probably wasn't you know the best idea i mean imagine being horny and then checking discord i'll go back to my room and sit there kind of panicking thinking i'm going to ruin this whole recording like this is it's not a good look for me to just like work this out like how's kurt's audio gonna work when you know every time he's silent you can hear like straining cat noises in the back and it's not like we had time to postpone it so we start and i just hope for the best so 10 minutes go by and i hear nothing 20 minutes go by nothing 40 minutes go by nothing an hour goes by not a oh sweet mother of god thankfully nothing happened and we finished recording on time and then afterward i heard them back at it when i was done working okay and it wasn't in the living room so i i, I guess that's a win oh no i don't have as much patience as i thought i did for this not at all so feel free to speak up when something is bothering you like, i'm sure this would probably happen on a much lower level than it did for me but hey a lesson is a lesson now obviously the sounds i want to hear aren't moans but if you want to hear a sound that isn't because of sex 
Check out Audible. Something that would have came in handy during the night was some free audiobooks. But what's wild is that the best thing about Audible isn't the fact that it can tune out the sound of adult noise in your living room. What is that? With the link in the description or by texting Kurt Ritchie to 500 500, you can get a free one month trial of Audible Premium Plus. And I, and I think I have to explain how bad of a deal this is for them. See, membership gives you a free credit. Good for any tiles in their entire premium selection, which are yours to keep forever, like forever, even if you cancel, with the free trial. Like, hello. And you also get access to the Audible Plus catalog, which gives you unlimited listening to select audiobooks, Audible Originals, podcasts, and more. It, it's like a month long buffet. Like, it's just, you can just do that for free. I, come on. And what's best is that they know what you're about and will send you an email before your free trial ends in case you want to cancel. So, no accidental charges if you don't want to continue using the service. But it is a pretty good service, I'm just saying. Like, oh, that's just a bunch of free stuff just out the gate. Who approved this? Now, me and myself, I took advantage of this. I've gone back to this book I really enjoyed. The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. It's a really good, like, self-help book. Like, as you can tell from this video, it's a lot easier said than done, though. But it teaches you a lot more. Not to mention, by doing so, you support the channel so I don't have to eat ice sandwiches. So be sure to visit audible.com slash Kurt Ritchie or text Kurt Ritchie to 500, 500 to get that one month free trial. Again, visit audible.com slash Kurt Ritchie or text Kurt Ritchie to 500, 500 for a free trial. Thanks Audible. Yo, what's good y'all? It's your boy Kurt uh, with no face this time around because we're rushing to get this video out. But uh, I just wanted to thank y'all for being here with me. And I mean, this is the last video of 2020. Um, and uh, I'm glad we're on the path we're on. I'm glad I have y'all and I'm, I'm glad I'm doing this. Uh, I know I should be plugging all this stuff like a good YouTuber, but I just wanted to say that. Uh, seriously, thank y'all for watching my videos and letting me be able to do this. It means a lot. Especially big thanks to the patrons who are scrolling. Please join the Patreon community. It, it means a lot. I've gotten to know them very well. Try the streaming channel. Check out a video if you like it. And yeah, that's all I got. Thank you to my wonderful artist, Senny, for being on board. Appreciate you. Love the work you do. You're an amazing person. Vivi, of course. Uh, thank you. And uh, everyone on the team, thank you guys. And thank y'all for being here. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful year. Uh, hopefully 2021 isn't as bad. But alright y'all, thanks for coming. See you guys next time. Peace.